Good morning everyone, it's your girl T Baby and I'm back with another video. So today I just decided that I'm gonna take you guys in a day in the life of me and like it's been a day with me today. So what's today? Today is Monday, June 17th, I believe. Crazy that I would have been leaving for Olympic trials today, but I'm not doing it, so it's okay. Instead, we are going to just run some errands and go grocery shopping because I very much need to restock. But for right now, I'm just getting ready, like my headband, of course. And first stop is apartment hunting. Um, I am looking for a new apartment because your girl is broke, okay? She cannot afford what she thought she could afford. So I'm looking forward to buy two. I'm going to be staying with one of my coworkers. I consider a brother, like he's so chill and everything. So um, we're supposed to be going together, but he just didn't respond back. But it's okay, because I still need to look. Even though I have my place now until October, I'm still trying to look to see what's out there, like what I like, what I don't like. And yeah, so we're just going to see what the vibe's given. I'm only going to go probably to one place today because I have work at four. So this place I definitely do want to see because they we both agreed on it. And we're just going to see what it's given. But for right now, I'm going to finish, continue. I'm going to finish getting ready. And then I will catch you guys when I get to the apartment complex. Okay, so this is the fit. Literally nothing too crazy because I don't have any regular clothes. I got this from Ross when I was back in Texas. Back in shorts, nothing new. White 270s, literally plain and simple. Like, I need some new clothes. That's definitely one thing I need. I need some new regular clothes. I literally have nothing but athletic clothes. And I'm tired of wearing athletic clothes when I go out. I would at least like to dress up. And this is actually supposed to be like a little cropped. So... Yeah, this is a fit. Literally nothing too crazy. I'm probably going to end up changing my top because it's going to be like 80, 90 degrees outside. And I'm going to be sweating. So if I change my shirt, just know it was because of Florida heat. <laughs> All right, so I just arrived at the complex that I'm looking at. And from the outside right now, it looks good. Um, it's gated for one, so definitely need access to get in. Uh, it's been a minute since I stayed in a gated community. Um, but right now, I think I parked in front of the leasing office. I'm not sure. So uh, I'm going to go find that and uh, let's get started with this tour. This closet is bigger. I need this one. Yeah, I need this one. I like that the bathrooms. I like that the bathrooms are inside the bedrooms. Like that's one thing I really do like because it's amazing. Shower bathtub. Okay, nice little shower head. All right, so I'm done with that tour. It was nice. Um, the only thing that I'm really worried about is getting approved, of course, because my income isn't as high as they would like. And I personally, I know I have to work on my credit score. So I need to get that. Like I literally have four months to get it up. Not saying that it will get up to where it should be to get me approved for an apartment but i personally just know i need to work on it because it's embarrassing for me 
but i like the complex though it was cool it's really big i will say that it's very big and where i am now honestly any apartment is better than mine that i have because for various reasons i mean i'm thankful for what i have now of course but i'm missing a couple things that a normal apartment would have so i'm going to keep this on the list i may go visit some more later on throughout the week i'm not sure um but this one is definitely our number one for now and i'm going to share all the information that i have uh that the lady told me um with my brother and then just start um making things happen so yeah the lady said to go on and like apply and do some things early so that they can have our application and then prefer to move in and go from there and just wait and see what happens but i was happy with the place um it's really quiet it's gated it's the gated part for me that's really it and it's a huge community too so oh well we'll see next stop i will be going to this meat market place and the produce place is called like freshfield farms market go grab my meat and my produce over there and then afterwards probably go to walmart or Publix. i hate Publix because it's so freaking expensive everything is expensive but probably walmart by my house and then go home it's 12.06 yeah go home and then get ready for work Y'all, let me really put you on right now. And let me tell you about Freshfield because Freshfield gonna do me right every single time. Every single time, they never fail. They never fail. But it does depend on, it does depend on when you uh, go to the store. I will say that like the time of the day, uh, the month, like the day of the week, like the week and the month. Okay. Okay, cool. So I just need to make a little cash. Sorry. So I was reading the text. But um, yeah, no, it all just depends because sometimes the prices do vary. Like some are higher than normal, some are lower than usual. But let me just tell you what I got. I got um what is that? I got boneless chicken thighs, which was five twelve. And I think I got like eight pieces, like eight, nine pieces in that. Um, I got two things of ground turkey. One was $8.59, one was $8.41. And yes, I do be looking at each price and be moving out the ones because them little cents be adding up and do count. And then I just got two things of steak, which was really the most, um, two pieces, which was $17.19. And they were the New York strip. And then literally like right next door is the produce, Fresh Fields. And I just got Two things of Brussels sprouts, which was one ninety four, and then the other one was two forty four, and I got some great some string beans, which was four nineteen. Like those were a lot actually. I've never the cheapest that I've spent on string beans from here was like two dollars, and I was <laughs> I was shook. Okay, and then I got some plums. I was debating on if I wanted the ones that were wrapped. Or if I wanted the ones that were just like plain out. But I ended up getting the ones that were wrapped. So my plums were 288 and my peaches were 362. Okay, so after doing some quick math, in total, I got uh my meats and my produce for 54.38. With and it's like big bundle size too. So I'm okay with that. So now, what time is it? It's 12.49. Um I still I still have a lot more time so I am going to head back to my house it's a Walmart by my house I'm gonna grab some cereal stuff probably some more Alfredo sauce some taco stuff so I can make some tacos um what else what else probably some desserts even though I don't need any but that's pretty much it like if I could stay under 
$80 for my groceries? Bro, I'm set. I am absolutely set. But we're gonna see what all I get. My Walmart is so freaking ghetto. But it's okay, we're gonna get in, we're gonna get out, and we're gonna go home, unpack, take a nap, and then go to work. All right, so I'm in Walmart and I'm actually about to try a different cereal. One that I've actually never had before, Fruity Pebbles. But I feel like I'm not gonna like it. So I don't I don't know what cereal I want because I don't want to buy it and then I not eat it because I don't like it. Plus I don't really like sugary cereals anyway. So I may just stick to my regular like Apple Jacks or Frosted Flakes. Or, oh, nope, they got my cereal. Never mind. <laughs> what the wind? <sighs> I hate shopping. I spent more than what I wanted to in Walmart. But I got everything that I needed. So. <sighs> it's okay. Now, go home, unpack, eat, lay down, get ready for work, and make the money back that I just spent. <sighs> I hate grocery shopping i hate grocery shopping i need to go back to sam's club because sam's club go do me right for two to three months and i've been sleeping on them for a hot minute